Hey guys, Ultra still here, and we are concluding The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Alright, this is the final part. So in the last part, we went ahead and entered Ganon's Tower, where we had to face a series of old uh, challenges. We had to fight some old bosses, and old enemies alike, and do some uh, riddles around here. And we got a new item, which is really overpowered. It's the strongest item in the game, in my opinion. It's called the Light Arrow. It kills enemies with one hit. Well, you know, that's not really that fun. I want to see magic power, so... I want to kill them my old way. Turn it. Come on, take off your armor. Sweet. And here's where you lose. Come on, you can do better than that. What a shame. No chance. How about you guys? What do you guys got? Let's do arrow roulette one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what am I doing numbers? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. What does the mob one say? Goodbye, riddance, and see ya. Ah, you get no elements. Sucker. But you know, in order to save time, I kind of want to just. Hmm. Should I use the light arrows on you guys? I don't know. Come on. Expecting more of a challenge from you guys. I am very disappointed. So, uh, make sure you save right here because this is where stuff gets real. This is actually a hard fight. Uh, there's some fairies in those jars. Make sure you equip as much as possible because, arguably, this is one of the hardest uh, Zelda fights, in my opinion. And make sure you bring some blue potions and yellow potions. More specifically, Electro Soup, because you're going to be using your light arrows a lot. This is very important information. Please take heed. So let's get this over with. Here we go, from the fate of Hyrule. Do you sleep still? Wait. Do not be so hasty, boy. I can see this girl's dreams. Oceans, 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 oceans. Oceans as far as the eye can see. They are vast seas. None can swim across them. They yield no fish to catch. What did the king of Hyrule say? That the gods sealed Hyrule away? Had they left behind people who would one day awaken Hyrule? <laughs> How ridiculous. So many pathetic creatures scattered across a handful of islands, drifting on this sea like fallen leaves in a forgotten pool. What can they, po what can they possibly hope to achieve? Don't you see? All of you? 
Your gods destroyed you! I had been waiting for you, boy. For one like you. Yes, for the hero. <laughs> Do not betray my expectations. Alright, so that just happened. So as I was mentioning with the light arrows, uh, it does kill enemies with one hit, but not bosses. For this boss in particular, this is Phantom Ganon. And in order to take him down, you need to shoot at his uh, blue orb of the tail. You have to shoot the tip of his tail, basically that blue orb that's right there, see? And you want to watch out, because uh, he's going to be throwing fists at you, literally. Um, and uh, one way to... Ow. One way to uh, weaken him is you use the boomerang to cut the strings. That's one dedicated boomerang, let me tell you. Oh, and sometimes he's gonna he's gonna summon bats, so that's gonna be kind of annoying. Come on! Okay. Ah, you son of a! So yeah, uh, this fight can get pretty annoying. Just make sure you uh, back up a little bit space away otherwise or you know get some space otherwise uh some of his attacks will get you and uh it'll do a lot of damage so just go with the boomerang and then fall back out a little bit okay we got him now two more times that's my lucky number That uh, didn't really do anything. It's kind of like uh, Kali Demos in that regard. You know, the plant boss from the second temple. Aren't you having a fun time? Ha! No match for the hero of time. We're prepared for this. Nope, nope, and so much nope, nope. I fought better enemies in my day. That day being my birthday. Come on, do this. All right, now we just have to get his tail. There we go. And... Alright, we did it! We beat Phantom Ganon! So, uh, yeah guys, that was it. Uh, if you're expecting something else, then... Well, if you're expecting something else, you were right, and your, expe your expectations didn't betray you. Now, if you thought that was over, well... You are sorely mistaken. For this... is a second form. Spider Ganon. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna rotate around the room and just run and make sure you uh, don't get crushed on. Look at the reflection of the water and try to make out where some of his arms will land. Make sure you go in between them so you don't get crushed, obviously. But you especially want to land on the side that um, has that will give you the opportunity to shoot at the blue orb that he has on his body. 
So you kill him the same way. Just keep shooting at, at that blue orb with the light arrow. Has to be the light arrow. No exceptions. You got that, Ganny boy. I'm trying to hit you with my sword, but no damage. Oh, no, 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 no. One more time, baby. Come on. You can do better than that. I'm going this way just to be safe. And... Ha! Alright, now it looks like we defeated him. Oh, come on! So this is his third form. Uh, some people like to call him Snake Ganon. I consider it to be Moldorm Ganon. Uh, because he moves a lot like a Moldorm. They're like warm enemies that are popular in the Legend of Zelda. And, ooh, I wonder what to go in here. Something I didn't mention before. So yeah, uh, this will serve a purpose later on. I just wanted to get that over with. Hey, punk, come here. Okay, just keep shooting him. At, every time you shoot him, he's gonna go faster, so... Make sure you, uh... Just take care of him. Ah! So close. Okay, and... Come on, we can do this. Consent it. Yes! That's arguably his hardest form, honestly. Additionally, you can also hook shot on one of those uh, platforms uh, up above and then shoot him from up there, but that's a little hard and you may get hit trying to do that. <laughs> yes, surely you are the hero of time. Reborn. Your time has come. Come now, stand before me. Dude. I wish I could elevate myself and just warp out of there like that. It's awesome. Okay. So now you're gonna climb up all the way- hold on. Wait. Turn it. I wanna rotate the camera so you can see what's up there. Sooner. So you're gonna climb up all the way up here. It's gonna take a while. So yeah, that Ganondorf guy really doesn't like to give up. Nonetheless, we, uh, we got beaten quite a bit. He dealt, like, four hearts and a half of damage to us. So that's not bad. Still is hero mode. Hero of wins mode, I like to call it now, since we've come so far. Oh yeah, let me tell you about that jar that we saw down there that had the purple stuff in it. So let me just... Before you continue, make sure you get some of these jars. It will help you. Just keep climbing up here. Alright. So yeah, if for whatever reason you want to return up here quicker, there's that purple jar from earlier. So just go inside it, and you'll warp to the other side. I'll explain right now. Yo, oh, those guys are so cute. I'm gonna leave them alone. So yeah, it just teleports you over here. And if you go in it, and this one, you teleport back up there. So, so just something I wanted to show off. Just to make things faster. So, 
Yeah, I really like the Ganondorf fights in this game. Usually, uh, in some other Zelda games, he doesn't really have much forms in fights, but in this one, they, they just give you a lot, and I really enjoy that. So anyways, I, as you may have noticed, I have 5,000 rubies. I'm going to make those... useful. Because this is the final fight, and I mean it, guys. So get ready, because things are about to get crazy. Let's put on our magic armor. With our Alexa soup, we have double the sword power. Let's go ahead and save Hyrule, and go after Gan. My country lay within a vast desert. When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my lands, searing the world. And when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our homes. No matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing. Death. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. I... devoted that wind, I suppose. It can only be called fate. That here, I would again gather the three with the crests. That I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. That when power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. The power of the gods. The Triforce! He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Already, the crest of wisdom is mine. All that remains. Do not fear, I will not kill you. I merely have need of the power that dwells within you. Now, let us put an end to that which binds us together. Gods, hear that which I desire. Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more. Let them burn forth. Give Hyrule to me! He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. That is what you said, is it not, Gandorf? You're screwed. Gods of the Triforce, hear that which I desire. Hope! I desire hope for these children. Kill them a future. Wash away this ancient land of hype. Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world. And let our destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf, may you drown with Hyrule.
this foolishness a future for you? <laughs> what are you laughing at, Gandorf? You're insane! Link, I'm so sorry. I overslept. Overslept? I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. We must return to the world above. Back to our ocean. Yeah. Totally. Very well then. Allow me to show you... Your future. Yes. Allow me to show you... Just what hope you have. See how much your precious Triforce is worth. Alright, so here is Ganondorf, guys. <clears throat> I'll use this bow to cover you. Attack him as best as you can. So, here we go. I'm going all out, guys. I have my magic armor. Electric suit power-up. So, uh... The way you fight him is he's gonna be uh, throwing some attacks at you. Some sword slashes like that, you might want to back up, because some of them you can't block. More specifically, when he kicks. And occasionally Zelda will shoot a uh, light arrow at him. And uh, when he's stunned from it, that's when, that's when you have a chance to attack. You can also parry, parry attack some of his attacks. Like, right there I could've, but... Once you get farther enough from the fight, uh, he's gonna knock out Zelda, and you won't have her help to uh, shoot light arrows at him, so... Here's where things can be a little bit tricky, and when he tries to do that attack, back up or parry attack, because that does a lot of damage. Now, this fight's going pretty fast, actually. That's what happens when you have the Electra Soup on. And uh, during the third phase of the fight, uh, he's going to be blocking all your attacks this time around. We thought before he was blocking, well, he's really blocking now, so our attacks are pretty much pointless right now. Also, uh, Zelda can shoot you with their light arrows, so make sure you be careful and you back up a bit. So at this point, Link, you have to distract him. Are you ready? I'll aim for you, and you use your shield. Do you get it? Huh. So you want me to use the shield to deflect your light arrow to him? Is that what I'm getting? Don't shoot at me, though. Well, shoot at me, but don't aim for my shield, not me. So in this phase of the fight, you have to stay still and have her shoot at your shield, which is going to deflect the light arrow to Ganondorf. And apparently there's a barrier behind me that I didn't even know existed. So without further ado, once he's stunned, parry attack and finish this once and for all! <laughs> the wind. It is blowing. Where'd my shield go? Link! No, seriously, where'd my shield go? Sorry to break the mood, but usually... He's supposed to have the shield behind him in the cutscene. My children, listen to me. I have loved regretting the past, and I have faced those regrets. If only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. I have loved to bow to Hyrule. In that sense, I was the same as Ganondorf. But you... I want you to live for the future. 
there may be nothing for you here left. But despite that, you must look forward and walk a path of hope, trusting that it will sustain you when darkness comes. Farewell. This is the only world that your ancestors were able to leave you. Please, forgive us. Wait! You could... You could come with us! Yes! Of course! We have a ship! We can't find it. We will find it! The land that will be the next Hyrule! So... Ah, but child, that land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land! Boop. So crazy. What is going on right now? We did it. There's our sister. Hooray! Now we should go home and party. Yes. Let's do that. So with Ganondorf defeated, it seems peace has not only returned to Hyrule, but peace has also returned to the Great Sea. And all of its inhabitants. Alright guys, so that was really fun. I really enjoyed this Let's Play. A lot of exploring, a lot of fights. That was amazing. Oh man, that was that was pretty tough. Like, it was tough in the sense that like I had to sit there and like remember where everything was and it was a blast just, you know, collecting every piece of part, uh, treasure chart. Exploring those dungeons, finding those bosses. It was really fun and I enjoyed every minute with you guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. So, from this point on, uh, until the credits stop rolling, I'm gonna be talking about how I enjoyed this game and, you know, just my experience with it when it first came out. So, obviously, I'm playing the remake, uh, of it, the HD version. I played this game when it first came out in 2002. Uh, when I first saw this game, uh, I was mostly into The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. Uh, so, when I first saw the art style of this game, before it came out, I was a little bit confused. I didn't dislike the art style, I just felt a little bit alienated, like a lot of people. Because when, when this first, when this game was first uh, announced, 
a lot of people uh, seemed to criticize the way it looked, and it looked a lot like a cartoon. And a lot of Zelda fans were turned off by that notion. Um, thankfully, over the years, as time went by, a lot of people started to, you know, respect the game and admire what it was. It really brought out the exploring aspect of Zelda in the sense that you can explore so many islands, so much things to do aside from the main quest. I think that was really special. So when, when I when I first uh, bought the game and played it, I just fell in love with it. I loved exploring. I really loved sailing the great seas. There's so much mystery, excitement. I love the characters. A lot of stuff to get just from checking these islands, and it was just so fun. So over the years, I just fell in love with this game. During the GameCube era, you know, my sister, my second sister, not my first one that I talked about in the Ocarina of Time ending, but uh, my second sister, uh, she loved the art style of this game, and I, I, I loved it too uh, over the years. At first, uh, I was a bit confused by it, but that didn't mean I disliked it. So, yeah, when I was a kid, I just loved this game, and it blew me away. Just so amazing. If anything, I think it's... Uh, a lot of people would agree that it's on the same level as Ocarina of Time, if not maybe a little bit more in some people's eyes, which I can I can see. Uh, some of the controls feel a little bit smoother than you know Ocarina of Time for uh, the 64 be before the 3DS version, because uh, some controls on it were a little bit clunky and Link wouldn't move as smoothly. But you know, you know there's there's just so much this game did well, I think compared to Ocarina of Time, like, it, uh, from, from other Zelda games, this one really handled exploring really well. Another one that handled exploring really well. I'm just talking about the 3D Zeldas, by the way. Usually the top-down original Zeldas, they, they let you explore a lot, and, you know, it was less linear, but this one really nailed it on exploration compared to Ocarina of Time, because, yeah, Ocarina of Time had some exploration, uh, but, you know, a lot of it was main story uh, stuff, and there wasn't much to explore. There was, don't get me wrong, but compared to this one, there was, like, so much to uh, look for. So, yeah, honestly, uh, this is definitely one, in one of my top five Zelda games. Um, my favorite, I'm gonna LP in the future, and you'll know which game that is. So... Get ready for that. Like, it's not gonna come anytime soon, by the way. It's gonna take a while. I'm actually gonna take a little break from LPing. Like, I have a lot to do. But I will return. No, nope. don't fret. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. This is The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. I really enjoyed playing this. Definitely one of my favorite Zelda games in my top five. It's just so fun. Love the characters. And Ganondorf near the end there got some serious character development. Usually in other Zelda games, uh, they don't really like delve into his character as much as this game. Like just just his dialogue near the end when we were on top of uh, Ganon's tower when he was talking about like how his people suffered, you know, and went through death. Just crazy like just the whole ending of this game just contradicted people's opinions on if it looks childish or not people thought it looked childish but you saw what happened to Gandorf at the end that was crazy that was like PG-13 arguably rated our stuff like stabbed to the head but anyways I want you to see this really quick so I will remain silent for a while Anchors away! Hold the tiller steady! As for our destination, the wind will guide us.
The end. So yeah, uh, that was The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD on Hero Mode. That was pretty tough. So, uh, what happens when you beat the game, by the way, is, uh, you get to save and make a file for a second quest. And the differences in this is that you get to keep all of the pictographs you've taken, uh, before, and the figurines you've, uh, uh, constructed from those, uh, photographs, or pictographs from, uh, you know, the Forest Haven and the figurine gallery. You get to keep those when you do those, this, uh, second quest. Another difference is that you get to wear your blue tunic that you get from the beginning of the game. And it's, it's not much different, but it's just something kind of cool. If you want to, uh, go ahead and uh, exploring the game a second time and get some of those pictographs. So you get a second chance this time around. And also, uh, the, the Hylian text that you would read from certain legendary characters like Valu, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jabon, that, you know, fish guy, and the Great Dacre Tree. You get to read, uh, the Hylian text translated so you can understand what they're saying in this second quest. So those are the differences. So it's pretty cool. It's just something I want to let you guys know about before I head off. But yeah, game, but yeah guys, that was just amazing game. Really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I, there's a reason why I literally recorded the first part of this Let's Play on my birthday. Because I, I just love this game so much because I, I recorded the first part on my birthday, and it was Link's birthday in the game. I, I, I intended to do, to do that, because this game's awesome, and I just want to make that connection, because I really like this game, so I that's enough for me, uh, uh, honestly. Like, I've already gone out long enough, you guys get the point. And it was just a blast. So, thank you guys for joining me on this journey. The Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker HD, will remain one of the best Zelda games ever as well as one of the best HD remasters ever made. So thank you guys for watching, take care, peace, and have a good night. And I'll see you in another journey in the future. Bye.